Home. High on our mountain, under our glorious gingo tree, happily tucked in the crook of my Emmy's elbow. It was all I'd ever known until the day of the storm. The first golden leaf, Emmy had said, placing it inside my pocket. Ginkgo's crown shimmered, waving to us in the sunshine. Behind it, gray clouds puffed. The wind began to whistle. At the tea house, Obasan greeted us with a warm cup of kukicha twig tea. Plip, plip, plip. More rain, said Obasan. Plip, 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 plip. Pitter, patter, pitter, patter. Suddenly, the rain's pattering grew into a whirring roar. Crack! Snatched by a falling branch, I plunged head over paw. I churned and lurched a blur of ragged fur and froth. And finally, I stopped. <whistles> Day turned to night. Like a trail of floating ginkgo leaves, the moon's reflection pointed toward home. Finally, I was found, but not by Miami. Kiko, a friend has come to visit, the old man said, guiding a girl's hand to rest on my matted head. Kiko washed away mud and plucked seeds nestled deep in my fur. She sniffed their sweet woodsy scent. You are a long way from your pine forest, she said. What treasure, said her OG son. Kiko touched my tattered paws and battered fur. You must be missed. How can I go on like this? I tried to yell. Will Emmy even want me now? but all that came out was a tiny frothy bubble. I know, Kiko whispered as she darned my fur, mending it with tiny golden stitches. The seasons passed. Whiffs of spring floated through the window, smelling of my mountainside home. The scent of buttercups and mountain flocks pulled us down the path. Mmm, said Kiko, breathing in the beauty. My stuffing puffed up and I could feel the strength of my golden seams. And we were happy. Down the valley, Autumn's frosty gusts returned. Golden speckles rippled against the shoreline. A golden leaf? asked Kiko, tracing its scalloped edge. From your home. She tucked it inside my pocket and whispered, I'll miss you. Following the floating trail of glimmering leaves, we rode across the lake. In the distance, I saw my ginkgo tree standing tall, triumphant, despite one broken bough. Hands traced my gold stitching and flicked my floppy ear. You came home, squealed Emmy, hugging me and Kiko tight. Kiko peeled the leaf from my pocket. This showed us the way. Beneath our golden ginkgo, we sipped warm kukicha tea, and one by one we pieced together the fragments of my journey. My stitched, stuffed chest was like a sea pod filled to the brim, grateful, restored, loved.